Today, back again in solo queue, it seems like Saber is available for the taking. I mean, by this time, everyone should have known already that Saber and Eudora in one team will only mean unlimited feeding for the enemy team. So I think we got everything set up. We got Execute, we got Assassin Emblem, and this Slot 5 guy wants to swap. So the only sensible thing to do is accept it because I really don't mind and I love playing Beatrix as well. So since we are Beatrix, we're gonna go to the gold lane and I really don't know why this dino is sniffing my butt. Maybe uh, maybe dinos are just like that and know what they want. Oh, I, th I just realized that he's our jungler. All right, that's pretty good. I've seen a lot of really good uh, Barrett's uh, core or jungler, so this should work out in our favor. And now that we're here on the bot lane, let's greet this Layla who is uh, going to have a bad time because I deal more damage than her in a one-on-one -on -one fight at level 1. And since we have the upper hand now in HP department, we're just going to keep doing this. We're not even going to get last hits, just going to make sure that we're in the range of the enemy minions when they die. In the meantime, I am just going to stand here and do nothing. Just to make sure that she still tries to come back and uh, try to farm. And it looks like she's here again. So she's still level 1 but we're level 2 and almost level 3. So we'll keep on doing this so that we're uh, ahead in gold and XP and because I love making her life miserable. Oh, it looks like she hasn't lost her willpower to play still, so she's still level 1 and we're just gonna push her back. Hopefully we get level 3 while she's still level 1. That'll be a big, big gap. I'm not seeing her for quite a while now, so I wonder where she's getting her uh, XP. She hasn't been here since a few uh, minutes ago and I'm level 4 now. Let's check the scoreboard real quick. All right, so Layla is level two. All right, and since she's the one with the lowest gold in the enemy team, that only means that we are also indirectly annoying Franco because he won't be able to unlock his roaming boots if he's not the one with the lowest amount of gold. Aside from that uh, sniper ult that I missed, I'm loving every part of this. So we just hit level 5 and Layla is level 2. Let's make sure we keep her away from the minions because as long as I'm alive then Layla can keep playing the Hunger Games. Now I haven't seen her for a while again but she managed to get on top of Franco. I mean uh, get more gold than Franco so I guess Franco's roaming uh, boots would uh, work again. But that is fine as long as we can keep her level down and her gold down then she shouldn't be a problem for my teammates and me later late game. My Layla senses are tingling and I think that she is trying to help out with the turtle. And she just hit level 4. That is unacceptable. Don't you know that if you try to get gold, I'm just gonna take it back from you by killing you. And it looks like your teammates also has to suffer. Look what you've done to this, uh, to this Angela. This is all your fault. Her blood is in your hands. Okay, now maybe it's time to take down this tower and take my relationship with Layla to the next level and also the next tower. So we're just gonna camp out back here and put down our campfire, set up our uh, tent because we're gonna be waiting for Layla. And it looks like our prey is here but this time she called her uh, Mama Mia to help her out with her problems here at the bot lane and I believe that she's the jungler of the enemy team so we're gonna use our brain for a little bit and get away from that because I don't think that I'm capable of handling two ladies at the same time. That's what she said. So we're gonna go back and do our business but since Layla showed herself on the map and she's in the mid lane we gotta clear out this wave and push it because camping alone is very sad and I'm sad and lonely if Layla is not here. Alright so it seems our uh, under leveled Layla permanently stayed at the top lane so they will keep dying there because she isn't really ready for any team fights especially when we kept her level and gold down. So if they prefer dying to my teammates then I will prefer just taking down this tower. Oh and look, Layla's at the bottom with the least gold again. 
But we gotta get out of here because I really don't plan on shooting any monkeys. That's against the law. We gotta remember that guns are made for shooting people and not animals. And also grass type Pokemons in case you didn't bring any Pokeballs with you on your Pokemon hunting journey. So we're just gonna keep on clearing this wave. Make sure that these minions of ours are pushing towards the tower we're trying to get down and I think this mid lane tower is gonna go down in one to two shots. We just need our minions in there. So get in there minions. And let's take down this tower so that we can camp bot lane again. But maybe a team fight's gonna happen here. No, not really. So we'll head over here and show our face to Layla again. Hopefully she's traumatized by now and will back off. Wait a minute. My team is up to something and they didn't tell me. Well, I don't really like being left out of parties especially parties where i can secure kills our kills so back to pushing the bot lane and did you see that item that i just bought comment it down if you did so everyone knows is the best item for uh, ladies such as uh, beatrix here oh wow i didn't even notice that my uh, teammates got the lord i was too busy in camping the bot lane but Layla's not gonna die, but she still feels the pain, I guess, so. Thank you for the nice back massage, Franco. I'll be back, and here, let me set an appointment. So, I wonder how much damage this sniper is gonna do to Layla at this point. Ooh, I like it. Alright, so I think I should switch lanes. Let's go to the mid this time because I really can't do anything at the bot lane anymore. Plus, my team is here so maybe we can help them out for once because I keep on staying at the bot lane when I could have gotten uh, kills as well here, especially when I go with Kufra. Awesome set on that invisible Mia by the way. Alright, looks like our team is all the way in and they took down my prey, Layla. Well, that's fine because I can always shoot Natalia who's hiding behind the enemy base you can't see her she's uh, invisible remember come on guys they don't have tower anymore but be careful it's really possible that they can still turn this around and we are not gonna die today but maybe we can uh, just stand around here and not go back to base to refill HP because uh, we got uh, fear of missing out. And that's uh, missing out on the victory group selfie. So I'm glad that we have stayed here. It is worth it. So uh, yeah, that is Beatrix right now. I mean, it doesn't just uh, work. The bullying tactic doesn't just work on uh, squishy marksmen. It can also work on other heroes, fighters even. And that's because her level 1 is just too, too strong. So that's gonna be our game for today. So uh, I hope you had a fun time and enjoyed this match because I certainly did. And again, my name is Shinmin Takizo. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Check out the previous ones. Hit like and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.